Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to today's book review, which is on Thistlefoot. This book was such a surprise and I'm excited to talk to you about it because I had seen really mixed reviews. As always, I do have links below if you choose just to purchase this book um, or this book will be going up in my Mercari shop. And that link is below as well if you want to purchase this specific used copy. All right, so let's get started on what this book was about. So this particular book was based on Jewish history and folklore, and I found this so interesting. And essentially, we're going to have two estranged siblings right here. They're young adults, male and female, brother and sister, and they are going to inherit this house that is named Thistlefoot. And what makes this house really unique is it is essentially, it's alive. It's a sentient being and it walks on chicken legs. And they, this house is shipped to them. The brother and sister are in America. The house is shipped to them from Russia. And when they inherit it, they're both going to have very different reactions to it, which is very telling because they have very distinct personalities. The brother is much more laissez-faire. He is kind of out there um, in the world, panhandling, um, doing tricks and other things, entertainment for money. He is a big entertainer, but he very much kind of takes day by day as it comes and goes. Where his sister, I believe, is a welder. She's studying welding. She's very committed, has roots, stays in one place, is working toward a very specific goal. And so you have these two very distinct characters that are going to get put into this shared situation and experience, which is meeting Thistlefoot in this house. But the house isn't going to be the only thing that they really inherit. They're going to inherit, inherit, inherit a history that comes with the house and a threat. There is a person, an entity, a being who is chasing this house, trying to capture it. We're not for sure in the beginning why or what they're up to, um, but they are coming after the house. And because the house is now in the care of the siblings, they are now kind of in the path, in the target, the focus of this being. And we're going to see how they become aware of the situation. They learn a little bit about not just the history of the house, but the history of their family and the history of their Jewish community, the stories that becomes more of the history and the folklore that's pulled through. And essentially, we're going to get to go on that adventure with them. As I noted already, I really enjoyed this glimpse into Jewish folklore, of which I was not familiar at all. I thought that part was so interesting. This book is going to read a lot like a modern fairy tale. So if that is your thing, I highly, highly recommend it. I do want to say though, I can see why there were mixed reviews. I found the beginning for me of the book to be incredibly engaging and then it kind of lost me for a while. It did get a little bit slow, but I stuck with it and then the ending just picked up again. So I found the beginning to be very entertaining and engaging then a little bit more just interesting, but a little bit slower. I found that I had to really just kind of force myself to keep reading. I found bits of enjoyment of, of things and learning about the history. Like I said, the folklore um, was okay. It was like a solid three star for me at that point. Um, and then it shot back into four star realm for me. It was a great book and I loved it at the ending. I found the ending to be gut-wrenching. There were a lot of parts that were very intense. So your emotions are going to kind of be all over the place. There's going to be some drama. There is going to be some violence um, and there is going to be some heartbreak. And then um, essentially you're going to get all of that kind of in this story. I thought this was an incredibly unique story. I lo really loved that component. I can't say that I've read anything that this book reminded me of before. So that was of high value to me. I also loved how the house itself almost became or was its own character. I could have just del delved into the house and got to know it more. Honestly, I could have had um, read a whole book where the house was really you just got to know it in every nook and cranny. I really found myself hungry for that. So that was one of the things that I almost wished was more present. You do get to know the house, but I actually wanted to get to know it more. Um, I'd be curious if those of you that have read it felt the same way. So highly recommend this book, four-star read for me. 
One star books, for those of you not familiar, I did not like the book. Two stars, eh, the book was okay. Three stars, it's a good book. Four stars, a great book. I loved it. That's what we have here. And then five stars, rand, more random books that just blow my mind and I want everyone to read them. So another recommendation for you all, that is Thistlefoot. Um, as I noted below, there will be a link to Mercari if you want to grab this copy. But other than that, do let me know if you've read it, what you thought, and let's go read some more books. Thank you as always for watching. Happy reading.